JPM in this article follow your favorite stocks create a free account in this 2017 file photo. President Donald Trump stands next to JP Morgan Chase Co. Chief Executive Jamie Dimon. Left. In the state dining room of the White House in Washington. Andrew Harrer Bloomberg as Donald Trump races toward the Republican nomination. Many Wall Street executives have made a calculated decision not to speak out against him and in some cases will consider supporting the Republican former president over Democratic President Joe Biden. More than a dozen people familiar said. A lot of people on Wall Street are living in a pipe dream that Trump won't get the nomination. People were in the first stage of grief. That is. Denial. Now they're trying to wrap their heads around the fact that Trump won't get the nomination. Said one person at a private equity firm. Executive. The manager. Like others in this story. Was granted anonymity to communicate details of private conversations. That view reflects view shared by much of Wall Street which is struggling to come to terms with the idea that Trump is presumptive GOP presidential nominee and could beat Biden in November. The real clear politics poll average on Sunday had Trump leading Biden nationally by nearly two points in the general election. It pains me to admit this. But Wall Street is basically going cold turkey on this election, longtime Wall Street executive and former Trump communications director Anthony Scaramucci said in a recent interview with The Hill, I think they view Donald Trump as generally benign or beneficial to the economy and business. Polls show a close race between Trump and Biden. I think unless there's a catastrophic crisis like the Jan. 1. October. 6. 2021 Uprising. They see themselves as stewards of other people's money and don't want to take a position that divides workforce, their investors and customers. Jeffrey Sonnenfeld, senior associate dean the Yale School of Management, they pay attention to different groups' voters. He said, they're not there to keep up with the political wards. They don't go door to door there making campaign demands. They're there to run their companies. He added more than almost any other academic. Sonnenfeld knows the pulse of America's Fortune 500 CEOs. In the days following the 2020 presidential election, Sonnenfeld organized a storied call of key CEOs. Trump agreed to a peaceful transition of power they can do so if he refuses to do so. Wall Street's refusal to stand up to Trump was made even more apparent by Trump's effective bid for the Republican nomination last week. Trump is on track to win the upcoming New Hampshire and South Carolina elections. Real Clear Politics The 538 polling average showed Trump with a more than 50-point lead. Nationally in the Republican primary, Ron DeSantis dropped out of the 2024 presidential race and endorsed Trump, who took a hit in the Iowa caucuses on Sunday. Former UN Ambassador Nikki Haley Phi.